things can get better. And what we're seeing here is that there's this new video, uh, the short clip between this dad and his daughter, making the best case against critical race theory that I've ever heard. Daddy teaches you can be anything in this world that you want to be, right? Don't daddy teach you that? Yeah, and it doesn't matter if, if you're black or white or any color. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow, yellow. right? Black. And, and how we treat people is based on who yeah. they are and not and what color nice. they are. And if they're nice and smart. See, this is, how, this is how children think right here. Critical race theory wants to end that. Not with my children, it's not gonna happen. My baby's gonna know that no matter what she wants to be in life, all she has to do is work hard and she can become that. Work hard even though you don't know anyone, you can make friends. <laughs> yeah, you can make friends, no matter what color they are. So we need to stop CRT, period, point blank. Children do not see skin color, man. They love everybody. If they're good people, they love them. We pray for people that are hurt. That right there is what MLK wanted. By all accounts and measures, MLK would be completely canceled by the left by now. They don't like that man at all based off of his own beliefs. They'd be calling him an Uncle Tom, you name it. But it's a simple, simple idea that judging people based off of the content of their character is significantly more important, is the only important thing, than when you look at skin color. Skin color is irrelevant. Martin Luther King wanted to get rid of the notion of skin color. He didn't care. His dream was that we wouldn't see this weird, these different colors as being important. Of course, we'll see some of these black, white, or Hispanic or otherwise, but the point is, is that we're not going to treat that as important. We're not going to use that to judge a person. That what would be used is the content of their character and not the color of their skin. And that is exactly what this little girl is talking about. That's exactly what her father's talking about. That's why it's important. Fathers matter. Black fathers matter. It's teachers that are like that. It's so important. Parents matter. Teaching your kids matters. Absolutely. We need more dads teaching these kids and less CRT public schools teaching our kids. That's why we don't want it in the school system. It's not right. And you're forcing it onto these students when it has no business about that. The thing is that if you go to a kindergarten or a playground, you're going to see children playing with other children, they don't care. They're not looking at race, this or that or the other. They don't care. That prejudice is taught, and it's taught through CRT, through critical race theory. That's the method of which this is going into play. They think they're doing the right thing, but in reality, once again, what I said before, when you call attention to it, to a child or otherwise, what you're doing is you're telling them and informing them, hey, that guy's different than you. If you left a classroom of kids well enough alone, they're not going to think anything of it by people being a different race or otherwise. They're not going to care. It won't matter to them. But when you stick CRT in, as an adult, you're thinking, oh, this is great. This is teaching them about how black people are oppressed and blah, 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 blah. Well, what you're doing is you say, hey, that guy over there, he's he's different than you are. Oh, and you, because you're white, you're uh, automatically an oppressor on him. You, you are automatically racist towards him by nature. And you're telling this to kids and, and you expect them not to be actually racist towards each other? Martin Luther King would never have st stood for that. Anybody with common sense knows that. They hate Martin Luther King with a passion. They would have to. Everything that he believes in, they disagree with right now. So this was one of the dumb tweets as well on this post uh, underneath this video. So this guy says, such an unrealistic video of CRT. You can be nice, but everyone is not nice to you. Ask those who have experienced racist acts or people who are bullied. That's an extremely, extremely stupid argument. The thing is, is that what they're saying when they're saying, you can be nice, but not everyone is nice to you. Ask those who experience racist acts or people who are bullied. That's why it's unrealistic about CRT. That's what they're saying there. But what they're missing out on of understanding is that CRT is specifically talking about the way in which you view yourself and the way that you should view others around you to be a certain set locked in roles of because they're this color, it's automatically this certain way or the other way. What this guy's saying in this video is, look, forget about all of that crap, right? <laughs> if you, if a person is nice to you and, and you're nice to them, you can be friends. You can be friends with basically anybody. Bad people are bad people. They're, you can judge them by their character. You don't have to look at their skin color. 
And what this guy is saying is that you can be nice, but everyone's not nice to you. Hey, dude, newsflash, that's a part of life. I don't know one person in this world. Find me the person, actually. Please, sir, that made this dumb tweet. Find me the person in the world that has had everyone be nice to them. Because you're not going to find them. It doesn't work that way. That doesn't give you an excuse to then implement some crazy, radical, stupid, racist training into classrooms all of a sudden and think that that's okay. That's not how that works for you, sir. And it never will. I don't care. Nobody cares about your experience with racist acts. Nobody cares about the fact that you were bullied. The point is, is that you can get and be anything you want, no matter what it is. You don't need to rely on them saying that you were automatically doomed to fail because of the color of your skin of all things. Something that you didn't choose. Something that is entirely irrelevant. The fact is, man, is that you can look around your classroom. I'm sure we all know. We've lived long enough to know this. Certain people have certain opportunities a little bit easier than other people in life. But that does not stop you from being able to achieve it. Nothing does. Nothing does. The grass is always greener. It doesn't matter what level you're at. If you're Bill Gates, you're probably looking it over at somebody else that's making more money than you are. It's always something else to obtain if you're concerned about trying to obtain it just for the sake of obtaining it. The point is, is that you don't need to worry about all of that kind of stuff. Achieve and work hard to achieve the goals that you have. Don't bother worrying about everybody else around you and what they're doing. Focus on your missions. Focus on your goals and you can achieve whatever it is. That's how simple it works. And yet you have a training in schools today, in many schools, that are telling your children, you can't achieve that. You need government help to get there. You need to be given special attention, special treatment to achieve those things. You can't achieve them on their own. And it's the biggest slap in the face to those that have actually worked hard to get somewhere in their life. And that's why CRT is racist and it's wrong and MLK will be rolling over in his grave if he heard anything about this at that time during that during the time that he was actually alive. You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.